Hetepu. My name is Jabari Osaze, and this is Ancient Wisdom Daily. Today's bit of ancient wisdom for this incredible Friday comes to us from a very old document that was written apparently as instruction for the great king Merikara. Merikara, this old kingdom ruler, um, was actually being prepared, um, being groomed for the throne. And so I know that there are many of you who are planning big things. I know there are many of you who are preparing to enter into your own kingdom. And so let's listen to a bit of the instruction that has been prepared for this man who is about to take the throne. He says, advance your officials so that they act by your laws. He who has wealth at home will not be partial. He is a rich man who lacks nothing. The poor man does not speak justly. Not righteous is one who says, I wish I had. He inclines to him who will pay him. Great is the great man whose great men are great. Strong is the king who has counselors. Wealthy is he who is rich in his nobles. Speak truth in your house that the officials of the land may respect you. Uprightness benefits the Lord. The front of the house puts fear in the back. Now, what exactly are we saying here as we approach this, this end of the work week? You might actually say, well, why is it that I am listening to instructions that have been given to a king? I'm probably toiling away every day, and, and certainly the life of a king or the instructions that were meant for a king cannot be helpful to me. But I'd actually say if that's what you believe, you're actually wrong. In this instance, recognize that we're all trying to build our kingdoms. We're all trying to, to create those situations that, um, uh, in which we are living into our highest selves. And so while you may not be royalty, you are certainly a divine vessel. And in being a divine vessel, you have very important sacred things that you have been brought to this plane to complete. And so as we listen to this, we hear that perhaps it is important for people who have wealth to share their wealth. And in fact, those people who want are people who cannot be trusted. Now, I know that that's a harsh way to describe it, but listen for a second at what I think the author is trying to get at. They're trying to say that you should not be the kind of person who is so voracious that you take everything and leave nothing for anyone else. Don't you know people who are so ambitious that they'll step on virtually anyone to get to the top? Don't you recognize that once they're there, they realize that they're not actually at the top? and that they're actually in a situation where everyone around them is preparing daggers for them? You have to be in a situation where you can share your prosperity, in a situation where all those around you are better because you are better. That's the kind of ruler, that's the kind of business person, that's the kind of leader, that's the kind of spiritual counselor that is able to create ma'at around them. And then, of course, they are also able to receive all those things that are befitting for them. Remember, the front of the house puts fear in the back. So that if you are prepared to do well in your house for all people, everyone will be working towards their common advancement. And of course, you will prosper as well. Do you think you'd like to receive these gems of ancient wisdom in your inbox every day? Why don't you subscribe on our website? And so then you'll be able to be part of this great dialogue as to how we are going to return our society into sacred divine balance. Be sure that you're following us on Facebook and tweeting these to your friends on Twitter so they can be part of the dialogue. We thank you so much for being part of this discussion and we hope that you'll give us great feedback so that we're able to move this discussion forward and continue to bring our society into Ma'at. My name is Jabari Osaze, and this has been Ancient Wisdom Daily.